We know the planet's warming and we know why it's warming. Um, we know that we have to reduce emissions to slow climate change, but we also have to do more. We now know that we also have to remove carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere if we hope to solve the climate crisis. Well, soil carbon sequestration is one potential solution of how to get carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. Soils have tremendous potential to store carbon. Soils globally have the potential to store much more carbon than stored in the atmosphere. One way to get it there is to grow plants. Plants through photosynthesis pull carbon out of the atmosphere and transfer it into the soil through the death of their tissues or the exudation from their roots into soils. There's a lot of scientific uncertainty about how much carbon we can actually get into soils and what kind of an impact that would have. What we do know is that we can increase carbon storage at a local to regional to global scale. It may not be the only thing that we need to do. It's probably not. Uh, we need to have a diverse portfolio of solutions, but there's no reason why we shouldn't increase the carbon storage in soils. There's a lot of co-benefits uh, to increasing soil carbon content. Um, increasing carbon content also increases the organic matter content of soils. And that means that we increase the fertility, the water holding capacity, and the stability of soils. And all of that contributes to the productivity and sustainability of our working lands. As part of our research program with the Marine Carbon Project, uh, we've been investigating ways in which we can increase carbon storage in soils through management and also trying to understand how long that carbon is going to stay in soils because the longer it stays in soils, the better the impact is on the atmosphere, the better the impact is on slowing climate change. What our data shows is that um, using a thin application of compost um, can actually increase the rate at which plants grow. And when plants grow more, they bring more of that carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and uh, inject it into the soil. So compost is great because it reduces emissions. It takes organic matter out of landfills or slurry ponds where it's emitting greenhouse gases. It creates kind of a slow release fertilizer uh, that helps the plants grow without emitting more greenhouse gas and then increases the carbon storage in soils. You know, I think that there needs to be um, a lot more research um, on ways in which we can bring carbon out of the atmosphere, but we don't need to wait for uh, research on some of these actions. Ranchers and farmers have known for a very long time that increasing carbon content of soils is beneficial for their, their goal of growing more food crops or growing more animals on their land. And we now know that agriculture can be part of the solution instead of just part of the problem. And I think we need to move forward and start getting these, these kinds of management uh, practices out on the land as fast as we can.